Hi everyone, this is Amy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy mask, which is great for theater or play, carnival or masquerade. So let's get started. Okay, to start this mask, you're going to cut out a shape out of cereal box in the same manner as for making this butterfly mask. And I'm just going to take my hot glue gun. If you don't have a glue gun, you can use some school glue to make your lines like this. But it will take longer to dry or it can speed it up with a hair dryer. And I'm just going to place some designs all over my mask. And I'm going to start by going around the eye. Okay, now when I cut my pattern out on the cereal box, I placed it so there was a fold in the center, and that's going to work for us because it's going to make the mask fold easily at the, at the nose. But there's also a ridge along here, and I think you can see that. I'm going to make another line with my hot glue down this edge. So I'm just going to put this there as a guide for myself and just kind of line it up like that. And I'm going to make one very thin line of hot glue. I've just got the bottom of a pop bottle here. I'm just going to put my paint in one of the little sections like that. And I'm going to speed up the drying with my hair dryer. And as you can see, this is my craft room hair dryer. Now that the butterfly is dry, I'm just going to take a bit of gold metallic paint, dip my brush in it, and I'm going to wipe off most of it. So now I'm just going to brush across lightly. And pick up a little bit more paint. And dry brush over the whole butterfly. and tie a ribbon. I like to tie the ribbon long and then curl this end like that. And now I think I'm going to punch some holes up the side and add some ribbons and curl them. And on the finished mask, in addition to doing these four holes, I did an additional four holes along the top and tied ribbon in there. And I did one more hole down at the bottom and put some ribbon on there. 